When people think about quality of life, one of the first things they may ask is, is our city safe? I'm happy to report that the crime rate in Alexandria remains at a 41-year low. This is remarkable, given that it has been an extremely busy period for our police officers, firefighters, and sheriff deputies as they work to keep our city safe and orderly following the Snowmageddon of 2010 and the August 5th windstorm, fought multiple alarm fires, and provided community education and outreach activities. The commitment of our public safety officers and their commitment to the community is just one example of how the city maintains the safe, excellent standard of living we all enjoy. This year, our fire department received two new state-of-the-art medic units that will be used for the city's peak time medic program, designed to provide additional advanced life support transport capabilities in and around the city when emergency medical service calls are at their highest. This will help reduce emergency response times and lessen the city's reliance on neighboring jurisdictions. New EMS medics who graduated in January will help staff the peak time medic units and other medic vacancies. I'm here at the newly created Department of Emergency Communications, which unifies the former police and fire emergency communications into a single separate department, which will be more effective in providing emergency communication services to the public. For some Alexandrians, quality of life begins with the basics. Within the city, other departmental operations have been streamlined and strengthened as well the Departments of Mental Health, Intellectual Disabilities, and Substance Abuse, and the Office on Women were merged to form the Department of Community and Human Services. The goal of the merger is to provide services with no wrong door by combining all levels of expertise within a single point of contact for essential services that can measurably improve or maintain the quality of life for Alexandrians in need of department services. The city also merged its Office of Communications and Office of Citizens Assistance into the Office of Communications and Public Information. The new office provides news and information about the city and its services to the public and the media. It also communicates through a variety of platforms, city websites, social media, email, and telephone, so that the public can effectively express their problems, comments, and concerns, and have the issues resolved as quickly as possible by city departments. By combining expertise in communications and media relations with veteran staff experience in working with the public, the Office of Communication and Public Information will provide a higher level of customer service.